Good morning, good morning. Let's go ahead and get grounded. Closing the eyes. Relax the shoulders down the back away from the ears. Lengthening through the spine and the crown of the head. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. With each exhale, send that breath down into your seat, focusing your attention on your root chakra. Noticing that red energy growing and building, getting stronger. Connecting you to your mat and to Mother Earth. Each exhale that you take intensifies your connection to feeling grounded. Drawing the hands to heart center. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Open the mouth and let it go. One more time, inhale. Let it go. All right, hands rest back down. Allow the eyes to open. Let's get started with our yoga for core. We're actually gonna make our way onto our knees right now. Sitting our hips down on our heels, bring the hands down to the thighs. We're gonna do some seated cat-cow. So as you inhale, bring the chest forward, arch into the back, looking up and back with the head. Exhale, rounding into the spine, allow the, the ribs to really press back, dropping the chin to the chest. Moving with your own breath at your own pace. Warming up the spine and the abs here. One more. Good, and then we'll bring it back to center. Let's go ahead and work our way over onto our hands and feet coming into plank. You can keep the knees dropped if you need to here. If you decide to keep the knees dropped, just make sure that you're bringing the hips down a little bit. So we wanna make sure that we're not like this. Bring the hips down nice and even and keep the core nice and active. We're gonna take some hip dips. So maybe bring that left hip down and then the right hip. And if you're up on your toes, it'll look like this. Good, a couple more. And then drop the knees. Give your arms a break for a moment, take a breath. And then shift it forward again. 
This time, coming into a forearm plank. We're gonna hold here. Nice deep breaths, keeping that core nice and active. We're almost done. And drop it back. Shift it forward again, coming back into plank, but this time back onto the hands. And we're gonna be jumping the feet out and in. So we'll come up into our plank, get nice and strong in the core, bring the legs out and in 10 times. Breathe. When you're done, drop the knees, sit it back. All right, let's come back up. We'll make our way onto our seat. Ooh, so last week, last Monday, I have to tell you guys, after yoga for core on Monday, and I've been teaching this class every Monday for probably about eight months now. And after our class together last week, my abs were sore for like five days. So we're going to do a little bit more of what we did last week because I think that um, we need to continue to focus on targeting the lower abs, which are really kind of difficult to, go, to get to in a lot of the exercises that we do, um, right? Like the upper abs are just easier to work, the lower abs maybe not so much. So we're gonna focus on those for a while. Like for the next couple of months, I'd like to make those our primary focus. Those are really the muscles that are gonna help you in some of your other yoga practices as well. For example, if you do any ashtanga, any jump throughs or any lifts, um, where you're pressing yourselves up and you're having to keep the feet lifted up off the ground, need those lower abs to help us do that. So let's go ahead and bring the soles of the feet onto the mat. We're gonna sit up nice and tall into the spine. Start to lean back. Keep shoulders relaxed down. And then when you're ready, making your way into your boat pose. Again, staying nice and lifted with the chest. If you can straighten the legs all the way, then try to straighten them all the way. We're gonna hold here for three, Two, and one, start to lower it down onto the mat, nice and slow. All right, now once we're there, I'm bringing the arms just a little bit underneath of the body, keeping the palms down if you want. You can like roll the shoulders just a little bit, almost like we would um, if we were coming into fish pose, but not that much. And then from here, lifting the legs straight up. All right. Nice and slow and easy. We're going to lower them back down towards the mat. Don't let them touch all the way at the bottom. Hover above the mat here and take some flutter kicks. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Lift them back up. Don't let them touch. Take a breath. I'm going to do the same thing, except this time, instead of fluttering the kicks up and down, we're going to bring the feet out and in. So lower them down nice and easy. Hovering above the mat just a few inches. Bring them out and in.
Good. Couple more seconds. And then lift and back up. All right, take a breath. Flexing the feet, let's do 20 toe touches here. Count them out at your own pace. Done with those, keeping the legs lifted. All right, here's the fun part. We're gonna bring the legs down up ten times. Take it at your own pace. Don't let the feet hit the ground. You've done your 10, bending into the knees, bring them into the chest, find a little rock side to side or front to back. Whew. All right. Grabbing the backs of the thighs, we're going to roll up and back the length of the spine. So rolling. Massaging the entire lower back on your mat. And on your next one, come into boat pose. Hold it. Three, two, and one. Lower it down. All right. Let's hit the sides just a little bit before dropping down into our Shavasana. So we're going to lift the feet. Up, oh, really bad mosquito bites. Um, bending the knees, cross the feet here, okay? And then we're gonna do toe touches, but I want you to grab, not grab, tap, opposite toes, but up. So let's lift it up off of the mat and then go. We'll just do this for a certain amount of time, not a certain number, so just stay with it. Stay with it. Keep going. Keep those shoulders lifted up off the mat. Almost done. And relax. All right, bring them in. This time, maybe find a little rock side to side. And then bring the palms out of your side, pump up. Extend the legs to each edge of the mat and then allow the feet to fall out to the side. Closing your eyes, dropping down into Shavasana. Allow the breath to return to normal. Fully relaxing into your Shavasana. Allowing yourself to sink deeper and deeper with each and every exhale. Stay here, honor yourself, honor your body. Whatever it's asking of you, try to give it to it today. Maybe make that your intention. Just checking in. 
here and there throughout your day, making sure that you're honoring whatever your body's asking of you. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice. It was my honor and privilege to guide you. Namaste.